Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Ends Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 news videos today. We had another feature premiere. This one was the commentary one, and I'm going to be honest, it actually kind of blew it, blew it out of the water, considering what I thought it was going to be. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically going to, I'm going to talk for a little bit, and then after I'm just going to let clips play and just let you guys watch. So you're not going to be hearing that much from me in this video, uh, but you're going to be hearing a ton of clips from the actual feature premiere. So yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about the presentation update first because I just want to. So basically, they completely revamped presentation. And first thing that they mentioned were the new regional theme and intros. So they've added like these animations for the presentation before a game starts. So like, let's say you're doing I don't know, a Yankees franchise, then before the game, it'll do like an animation of the Yankees logo. It's like really cool. You'll be seeing it on the screen and they have like regional things for their scoreboard. And it's just really dope. This whole presentation revamp is just so sick. Uh, they also have new scoreboards based off of your team, new presentation theme. So they have a new presentation like a new scoreboard I guess that's what I kind of just said uh, I also have Google Statcast that's new it's just pretty cool to have like a huge company like Google and that will be the show I think that's dope they also added win expectancy this was in our right, Google Statcast and win expectancy were both in the tech tests so we actually knew about both of those uh, they also added a ticker at the bottom of games. So, for example, like if you're playing franchise and a team trades for a really good player at the trade deadline, it'll show that at the ticker. Or if somebody hits for the cycle, it'll show that at the ticker at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. And then another thing for presentation is the fan cam. I think this is also so sick. They basically added cameras that are like optional and you can press a button to see them. So you hit a home run and then if you press a button, it'll show you the point of view of a fan after you hit that home run. I think that's really sick. I think that might honestly be my favorite presentation edition. Uh, so that's, that's it for presentation. Now talking about commentary, uh, new commentary people. I guess okay new commentators that's what that's what you say god i'm so stupid uh but the new commentators are john boo shiambi and chris singleton and they sound great i mean like i don't play with commentary on i have it muted so i'm not going to notice it but i feel like for those who have it on i feel like you guys are really going to enjoy the new commentators uh there were a ton of clips I'm just gonna go through what they said about the commentary and then I'm gonna end the video with those clips. Uh, what they said is they actually grabbed commentary from real games that they had together and they put it in the game. Uh, they also added crowd audio mix mixes. So basically they reworked the system where like, let's say the home team strikes out or there's a bad call against the home team they're going to be more frustrated and you're going to hear that and then vice versa too uh they also created an entire new audio package so like they basically just revamped not only the commentary but all the sound effects so like the crack of the crack of a bat is that is that what you say it? uh the pop of the catcher's mitt just all those sound effects they completely reworked they also introduced this thing called chatter which is basically just the commentators talking about like stories or like random conversations in the middle of at bats um so like the example that they did was xander bogarts and they basically said that like he could hit both sides and how important that is in today's game so uh yeah that's pretty much it there wasn't that much they just showed a lot of footage and they basically just told us what what's new so uh i really like it uh, it's unfortunate that i'm not really going to see it that often just because that's that's how i play the game i don't really have commentary on or or the animations i just try to get through the games fast and just 
but yeah, that, that's just my opinion. So, yeah, one more thing is the new legend they revealed today, and I'm very happy as a Yankees fan, Mike Mussina. Now, I'm just going to say it before you guys get mad at me. Mike Mussina was better on the Orioles than he was on the Yankees. There, are you happy now? Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean he wasn't good on the Yankees, but basically, he was a starting pitcher. He only played for the Orioles and the Yankees, and he was very good. He was really, really good. He's a Hall of Famer. And he's going to be a nice legend addition. I wonder how his card is going to play. So, yeah. Uh, there's going to be a clip of him. And basically, I'm going to shut up and roll all the clips that they did in the future premiere. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I've been your host, Nick from Brigance Gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. And that one is gone. Tom Murphy sent it out. His fourth home run of the season. The Mariners strike first. It's 2 nothing. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, thrusting your hands and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Zanino swings and crushes one. That's out to deep left field. And it hits the fence. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Margot at third with two away. That one the other way. In comes the runner from third, and they take a two-run lead. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Stocky right-handed hitter got big time power. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a huge at-bat. On the ground, two ball. Good feed. That's one. Over to first, safe. Ground ball right side could be two. To Adamas, that's one. And that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. First pitch doesn't find the zone. <laughs> that pitch wasn't even close, and they still got a check swing out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment and make it fast. The 1-0. On the ground right side, four, six, three, and they turn the double play. And a pitch. Outside corner, got him looking. He can't believe it. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear. Who outs base is empty. And here is Xander Bogarts. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. At the belt and fires. They say it went. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 
Back here at Chavez Ravine, bottom of the second. Chris Taylor down. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That misses, ball two. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Next offering is in for a...